Fools, 2014 is here, and one of the first things that you should consider now that the new year is here is starting to save for retirement. And one great way to do that is to open up an IRA. But what do you need to know about IRAs in 2014? My name is Dan Kaplinger. I'm the Motley Fools Director of Investment Planning. Today I want to talk about four facts that you really should know about opening an IRA in 2014. Now the first thing that you should know is that it's actually not too late to make a contribution for the 2013 tax year. IRAs let you make contributions for the previous tax year up through April 15th. And so even if you didn't get around to doing it last year, you can still make that contribution. Now, in addition, the amount that you can contribute did not change in 2014. So just like last year, you can contribute up to $5,500 if you are younger than age 50. You can add an extra thousand to that for a total of $6,500 if you're age 50 or older. And that's something that will let you get a substantial amount of money into your IRA. Now, the third thing that you have to take into account is whether your IRA contribution is going to be deductible or not. Now, basically, the general rule is this. If you are not covered by an employer-based retirement plan at work, then you're generally able to deduct your full IRA contribution. But if you or your spouse are eligible for a workplace retirement plan, then certain income limits can apply. And that depends on your filing status, what that particular income limit is. But if that does apply to you, then it's something you should take a look at in trying to decide whether to contribute more to an IRA or try to divert that into your 401k or other workplace retirement plan. Now, fourth and finally, the true value of the IRA going forward is the value of the tax deferral that it gives you. And we've seen the value of that tax deferral in 2013. We saw big increases in the stock market. And so investors in ETS like the Vanguard Total Stock and also the iShares Russell 2000 posted huge gains of between 30 and 40%. Having those in an IRA made it possible for you to rebalance your portfolio and make sales of those ETFs without generating taxable income. And that's an important aspect of it. In addition, having money in an IRA lets you invest in high growth stocks like Netflix, like, like Celgene. Some of the companies that produce such the big gains in 2013 lets you invest in those and make decisions about how to buy or sell regardless of the tax consequences. And that's really valuable. So if you are thinking about what you should do as a New Year's resolution, consider an IRA for 2014 as soon as possible. Now for more on IRAs and making the most of your investments, be sure to stay tuned to Fool.com. Thanks for watching and Fool on. 